Hey everyone. So I've had a lot of questions on my VIC coil drive circuit that I think I showed oh, like two years ago is when I made it uh, where I had the variable amplitude pulsing during the gate time. Typically Stan shows during the gate the circuit is off. Um, I use the variable amplitude pulsing that way I could maintain a lock on the PLL circuit but I actually moved away from the PLL circuit and no longer use this. Um, I built it on a breadboard. I never had it finalized. It never went to a PCB. And I basically just scrapped the use of a PLL. And so this circuit really for me isn't necessary anymore. Um, but since I've had so many people ask about it, I'll show you basically what I did uh, to merge the signals and then get that variable pulsing during the gate time. So I had my high frequency, low frequency, both unipolar square waves. I merged them into a 4011 and 4013. That gave me this waveform here. Then I tapped off the high frequency. And these both go through 2N2222s. Two 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 so you can see this is a high frequency pulsing. Here's my gated pulse train. Now when I tap off of that, and then put that through a potentiometer, I can change the amplitude of these pulses during the off time. So I took those into another 2N2222, and those drove, drove the base of a TIP120 transistor. Then here, I also had a DC bias control, another potentiometer. Um, Depending on your voltages of your signals, uh, these resistances are going to be different. So I don't have the values uh, for you. Basically, just have to build it on a breadboard and mess around with it. But it's a pretty simple circuit, and it works. It works well. Uh, like I said, I just didn't need it since I scrapped the PLL. But that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments, and I'll answer them. All right. Take care.